there fooders! So today on the Thanksgiving table, we are going to be having some green bean casserole. It is very traditional and yes, I know it's pretty basic, but if you follow these steps, you will have the best green bean casserole you've ever had. And we know you're all going to make it anyway, so you might as well watch. So first off, we're going to start with one can of water chestnuts that we're going to dice into little pieces. Now a lot of times green bean casserole is a little bit mushy and kind of a one texture dish. So these water chestnuts add a really nice crunch without any added flavor. So it is perfect for this dish. And then we're going to take four cans of drained green beans and to that we're going to add two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Then to this we're going to add one cup of milk. And then follow that milk up with half of the water chestnuts that you've chopped up. You can use a little bit less or a little bit more depending on how much you want in there. And then we're going to follow that up with a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We're going to fold that all together and then we're going to fold in a half of a can of our fried onions. In a future recipe I'm going to show you how to make fried onions, but in this one we're just going to keep it super simple for Thanksgiving because we're already busy enough and we're just going to use the can. Then we're going to pour that into a 9 by 13 glass baking dish and we're going to bake it off at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes it's going to be really nice and bubbly and we're going to scrape down the sides and stir it together and then we're going to top it with the rest of our onions. Then we're going to throw it back in our 375 degree oven for another 10 minutes. And there you have it guys, it is all finished. Golden brown and bubbly and super delicious. That was the easiest Thanksgiving side dish you will have to do this entire Thanksgiving. And you will be very satisfied. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you enjoy this recipe and try it on Thanksgiving. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you guys next time.